Hey everybody, hello, happy Friday. I'm gonna adjust this camera. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall down. It's weird because I get a little tiny view of what it's gonna look like. And then when I hit live, it like expands and shows all this stuff. So hello, hello, happy Friday, you guys. There is a big giant black cloud right there coming this way. I don't know what's gonna happen. It popped up out of nowhere and we have been losing electricity every time it rains. So hopefully <laughs> today, I don't, I don't know. So I guess we would lose lights, but would I lose my broadcast? I don't know. Maybe, probably, because I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. So fingers crossed that if it starts to storm, that I think I just heard thunder, that it doesn't cause us to. <laughs> I'm very distracted. There's all kinds of things going on on the other side of the camera. Hello, happy Friday, everybody. Today is Facebook Friday. Yeti to party. Oh my God, I love this set so much. We're going to do this today. Um, it's part of this Perfect Partners promotion. Remember, Stampin' Up! introduced this on the 1st of September. There are new dies in here for six different stamp sets that don't already have dies. And they're pretty amazing. The dies that they brought um, not only cut out the images, but they also have, you know, like accessory, like the Yeti has a scarf that's really cute. So um, that's what we're doing on today's supply list. Will you guys please go check and make sure the supply list is up, pinkbuckaroo.com. The supply list, I have listed both the bundle and the dies because if you've already purchased Yeti to party and you just need the dies, then you'll just want the die item number, right? But if you haven't ordered the stamp set yet, then you'll want the bundle number because you'll save 10% if you buy it as a bundle, okay? So um, just look for that on the supply list. There are six sets, the Yeti to party, which we're gonna do today, the Apple Harvest, which we did last week. Go back and watch that if you didn't. Trimming the tree, we're gonna do this next week. This is a great little set. It has all these tiny little dies in it to decorate your tree. So that'll be next week. It'll be Christmas next next Facebook Friday. Fresh cut flowers, which is one that I haven't done anything with. Um, it's beautiful. If you love flowers, it's a good one. It's got that great border die. Um, the birthday, this birthday piggy, so, so cute. We've already done a Facebook Friday with it out the dies, but if you need it, now you can have the dies. Um, it's got a little wagon, so cute. And then um, the last one is Waterfall Canyon, <laughs> which I still haven't braved. I'm gonna try it, it's amazing. It's an, it's an amazing set, it really is. Um, but these are only supposed to be available through September 30th. Sometimes they extend that depending on what, I don't know, but right now it says September 30th. And we know how things happen when you guys we wait and then they, they're they gone and you guys get upset. So if you want them, get them in September before they're gone, okay? Okay, so there is that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, hold on, let me put all this away. I wanted to show you guys some cards that I got. Um, it's been several weeks, probably a month since I've shown you cards that I've got. So these are from the last month, all right? So this one right here is from Macon. And look, it's one of those slimline cards again, using that uh, ringed in nature paper. And she used that new little, I know it's backwards. She used that new little uh, punch with the letter out, the alphabet letters. Very, very cute, love it. Thank you, Macon. And then this one, I've just was doing um, a project with this. This is from Nicole. Um, Nicole sent me a very nice thank you note a while back. This came in the, in August. Um, but I, Nicole's very funny. I used this exact paper with that exact stamp this morning. So great minds think alike. Um, so anyway, thank you. That denim ribbon. I love that denim ribbon. Beautiful. This one comes from one of my favorite stampers, Christine. She always sends me gorgeous cards. I don't know. Look, she even tied me up a supply list. She's so good. Look, um... I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like sparkles on the acorns. It's just beautiful. There's tons of, of um, details on here. And I, I think I have this set written down for um, a Facebook Friday in the future. So maybe we'll just case this because when she sends me a card that's this perfect, you have to case, right? All right, we have a lot of good stampers that send me cards. I love this, these little these little rocks. This is from, hold on, I gotta tell you, from Kay. 
Okay, thank you very much. Look at that embossing. And it's one of these, what do you call this? Um, Z fold cards. It's always fun. Beautiful job, Kay. And then this one is from uh, Linda. I have never seen a card like this. Look at this. Do you guys see how that opens? That is incredible. So I'm going to have to study this one too. Um, that's that Crane of Fortune something something. I can't remember in the annual catalog. Lots of bling, lots of sparkle, and a really cool fun fold. I need to start like a little basket where I store all these fun folds because when I want to do a fun fold, I can never think of an idea. Boy, it is getting so dark and spooky with this giant cloud coming this way. You guys, if we lose power and we lose Facebook Live, I'll just start again when we get power, <laughs> okay? That electricity has been blinking every time it rains here, which has been a lot lately. The electricity does, you know, it's annoying little flicker thing and then everything has to reset, so including the modem. Um... Beautiful card. This is from Shelly Gar. No, this is from, I'm sorry, not Shelly this time, from Sarah, who is our CEO. Um, she sent me this as a congratulations for when I hit my um, 1.4 million, I think. Um, I've had it for a while, so, and I haven't showed it, but look how beautiful. She um, has a beautiful stamping style, Sarah Douglas. Thank you, Sarah. It's always nice to see a card in the mail that has a Stampin' Up! return address on it. Okay, um, should I flip you guys around? Let me show you this real quick. So Club Create is, <laughs> mom, mom, my mom says the sun is shining at, at my house. Mom, you need to look that way out the back of your house um, because something just giant has, it's big and dark and very dark back there. My mom and I live about a mile away and the other day she got a ton of rain and I got nothing. So maybe it's my turn, mom. <laughs> um, Anyways, Club Create. Okay, so Club Create, the um, subscription period is from the 8th to the 7th. So the new subscription period started um, yesterday. And uh, right now, subscription period is for October. So um, all of you Club Create members who get charged between now and, se and October 7th is for October. Um, this month, this next month, we are going to do the gingerbread, sweet gingerbread bundle. And I have made an adorable, if I do say so myself, set of cards that go in this box. Let me just show you. And they are so cute, you guys. Now, right now, Club Create Subscriptions is closed. However, if you email me, I'm going to add people slowly as people drop out. Um, I'm not going to just open it for everybody <laughs> on my blog like I did last time and then it filled like in 10 minutes. So if you want to join Club Create and you're not a subscriber, send me an email, okay? Um, this will be October's club. It'll sh ship um, October 21st. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, PDF and video is available right now in my PDF store. There is a link on today's uh, Facebook Friday PDF as well as should be at the bottom of my blog post. Okay, so that is sweet gingerbread. Here's the uh, bundle. It's so, so cute. It's really cute. Okay, so there's that. I think I am going to flip you guys around because the other things I want to show you, I need the camera to be turned around the right way. Denise, are you at home? Is it raining at your house yet? Denise lives about, I don't know, what do you think, Denise? Maybe three miles away? like on the other side of where my mom lives. So that rain is like in that direction. It's very dark. Okay, weekly deals. It's week two, you guys. And um, I want to show you how to find the weekly deals. Well, that's weird. Um, because someone, I, I, I'm getting asked this a lot. Hold on, something weird is happening to my iPad. Um, because they're, no, that's not what I want. Come on. <laughs> Um, they're kind of in a weird place. Uh, well, not really a weird place. What is happening here? What is what is what is this stamping up website? You're looking very weird. Maybe I won't show you because this is I don't know what this is. Okay, allow cookies. Look at that weird. I don't know what's happening. Let's try a new. Let's try a new. Okay, you guys, open up the stamping up website. Okay, there. Now it's fine. That was. Weird.
Do you see that weird big heart over there like that? I don't know. Anyway, okay, what, to find the weekly deals, you click on these three lines right here, and then you click on specials right there. See the specials? And then September weekly deals right there. Um, and so this week we've got the texture chic memories and more texture chic. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. Memories and more cards, cards and envelopes. We've got rose gold paper, the trinket adhesive back flowers. Those are really awesome. Um, soft succulent satin ribbon, slimline envelopes, white frayed ribbon, snowy white velvet sheets. We're going to use those today. Okay. So those are on sale. That red, red, real red <laughs> ruffled ribbon. Ooh, say that three times real fast. Real red ruffled ribbon is on sale, soft pastels, and fresh freesia. So we're getting these new um, weekly deals every week. It seems like um, the first and the eighth, which was what, yesterday? And weird thing, the day before, they had both weeks on there. And I don't know if it'll do it again, but apparently on the day before, so on the seventh they had the first weeks and the second week's deals all on the same page so might want to check that next tuesday and see if they're doing that again i don't know if it's an accident or what but i'm i will take advantage of a sale if it's a double sale right all right let me open you guys over here on my computer and see what i see okay good i can see you guys it's so weird how far behind i am like on the computer than in real life. Okay, so weekly deals, we talked about that. Paper pumpkin, what is today? Tomorrow, you have to subscribe by tomorrow, right? You guys, make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yes, September 10th, to get the Halloween paper pumpkin kit, spooky treats. Don't wait, because I sold out of everything I had. I don't have any extras. Um, so subscribe if you want the spooky treats, paper pumpkin, okay? Here's this uh, card making um, World Card Making Day thing again. I want to show you. I got this stamp set. World Card Making Day is October 1st. There's going to be a free online event from Stampin' Up. Um, they want you to register, even though it's free. They want you to register. Um, I need to add that. I'll add that link today to the video when I'm done. But the deal is they're going to be using three different bundles, the Cottage Rose, the Cottage Wreath, and the Warm Welcome. And if you buy one of these between now and... Uh, What's the date? Between now and I think it's the 30th of September. I thought I had it on here, didn't I? Anyways, oh, right here. Okay, with any craft along bundle. So if you order any one of these by October 1st, so I was wrong, you're gonna get a free pack of those. Here, I have them sitting right here. Iridescent pearls, probably my favorite accessory in the catalog. They're so beautiful. Um, if you order one of these, you have to add that in. They're not gonna automatically add it into your cart. So you have to go type in the, either the number or iridescent pearls and add it to your basket, okay? Um, this one, Warm Welcome, is a sneak peek from the spring catalog, I got it. And it is so stinking cute. It is Jenny Polly's Million Dollar Set. See right here, that's a million dollar, that means it's a million dollar achiever set and I love it. Um, it's got dyes, it's got all kinds of cute stuff. So. Um, if you already have Cottage Rose and Cottage Reese, we'll order the Warm Welcome in September so you'll get those free pearls. And um, I'll add that link where you can register for this free event. You want to register. Um, that way they can send you information, I guess. And I think there was going to be a recording, if I remember correctly, in case you can't watch it live which is usually the case with me. Okay, Halloween class to go. Uh, deadline is September 21st. I won't get to this until next week. I work on Club Create. And then the week after I start working on this. So you still have about a week to go to register for this. Well, I guess it's more than a week. Um, the deadline is September 21st, okay? Um, five 3D projects featuring the Scary Cute Bundle. Um, you can get it with a bundle, without the bundle. It comes with washi tape and ribbon and all five projects and a PDF. And it's adorable if I do say so myself. I love this year's Halloween class. Um, okay, I showed you Club Create. Oh, um, let's do this. All-Star Tutorial Bundle. We had a blog hop yesterday. It's the Abigail Rose um, suite of products. 12 tutorials all featuring the Abigail Rose suite. Mine is a double hinge box that holds um, rose 
rose scented soap. Um, you can get this by spending $50 with me online. I'll email it to you for free, or you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. All the tutorials are videos. There are links on each of the first pages of each project with a link to the video. And there's supplies and measurements in Imperial and metric. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to make room. I need to do a big like clean out. I've got a lot of stuff in here. I wanted to show you also this new cup. Um, in the online store, we have branded merchandise or merch as the kids call it. And uh, let's see if I can find it. So when you click on the three lines, view all. No, no, that's not what we want. Yeah. Yeah. No shop products. <laughs> Like, wait a minute, that's not right. Okay, three lines, shop products, and branded merchandise right there. And there's all this cute Stampin' Up! stuff. So look, I had to order it. It's so cute. There's also a new little beanie, which we don't need here. <laughs> Sweatshirt, I actually ordered that too. Order up a size. It feels pretty small. feels tight. Um, and then all the other stuff that we showed you. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So cute. They were like, let's design a mug perfect for Erica. What should we put on it? Black and white buffalo check, of course. Okay, um, prizes from last week. Kathy Ty, you're the winner for the Snowman Magic Bundle. Kathy, I think I have your mailing address. Unless it has changed, um, I will wait a few days. And if I don't hear from you, I'll ship it out next week to the address I already have for you. Thanks for sharing the video. This week, it's the kindest gnomes. They're so cute. I've been working on a class today to trying to design a class with this for next month so um if you would like to win the kindest gnomes all you have to do is share my video either on facebook or youtube um and comment that you shared so that i know because i don't i can only see if i click on shared or shares i can only see who shared if we're friends and i'm not facebook friends with all of you so i want to make sure that i know that you shared okay so we are here, Facebook Friday. I have picked Yeti to party, and we're gonna make some cute projects. The first two were swap cards that I made, and uh, the third is a really cute um, treat project. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. Under the last photo, there is a little, um, a little logo thing that you can click. It has a free PDF that has the supply list and the measurements. Um, I'm just thinking, did I finish it up? Yes, I did. And then the three, there's three things here that I talked about as well. The links are here. The other part of Facebook Friday is that if you like the projects and you would like for me to send them to you as a little kit for free, all you have to do is put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, and you have to use this host code. Minimum order is $35. Um, and using this host code, if you don't use the host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes. And that's okay, because sometimes you're like, yeah, I don't like the Yeti, so I don't want those. But I do need to put it in an order. <laughs> and that's totally okay. Um, but please use the host code. The only caveat to that is, if your order reaches $150, you're going to get free stamping rewards, which means um, don't use the host code. I want you to get that free stuff. And then I will still send you these for free. Um, but that's only if your order is over $150. If you forget the host code, just let me know. I can call Stampin' Up and they can apply it to your order. Um, also, if you click the, the link at the bottom of my blog post, it will automatically add that host code to your order. So that makes it easy. This is what they look like when they come. Here's the Apple one I did this last week. Um, I don't do any stamping, so you'll need the Yeti to party bundle for your projects, as well as the embossing folder that we're gonna use. I don't um, do any embossing either. But other than that, I send you everything else. I send you a little cute handmade tag as a thank you, but I don't do any stamping. And uh, the deadline for that is Monday at midnight. I usually ship them on Wednesday. Okay. We are ready to stamp. I am going to put down, well, I don't know. I'm gonna put down my blinds. I have these amazing little shades here in my office that has a remote. It's very fancy. I'm gonna put it down a little bit because it's very dark outside and I have all these bright lights and I have a window right there and my neighbors are gonna be like, what is she doing? <laughs> Weirdo. 
talking to herself with all those bright lights shining on her is probably what they're going to think. Okay, now, have you guys ordered Yeti to party yet? Are you going to? It's so cute. Um, this is my swap card from Center, not Center, Center Stage, Backstage that I went to in New Orleans. Um, I don't always do swaps because I don't have time, but I had time this time to actually make two different swaps. I don't know how that happened. And this is the first one. So this is the first one we're going to make. Um, one thing that I struggled with at the beginning is what color is a Yeti? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, Yetis. Or what, a, a abominable, abominable snowman? Mom, what did you say? Is it raining? Getting dark here now. I didn't want to miss that rain. Yeah, I know. I want to open the window when it rains. Do you guys feel like that? Oh, we have gotten so much rain here. Well, I mean, not so much, but compared to the drought that we've been in. We've had a lot of rain in the last two weeks. Hallelujah. Lake is still empty, but whatever. Okay, so... The Yeti. We're going to ink him up in Memento Black. That was probably a little overkill with the ink, but <laughs> I had to read the comments. Um, and then we're also going to stamp the little gift twice. Um, so I did a little Google search, Yeti, and I, I think I typed in cute Yeti to see what color people were doing their Yetis. Not just this Yeti, but like any Yeti. There's Yeti cookies, there's Yeti stickers, there's all kinds of Yetis. And most of them were white with a little light blue on it somewhere, either the body or the face. So I'm going to use Pool Party and color our cute little Yeti's face only. So if you're not a big fan of coloring, don't worry. This guy doesn't require much. And then I am going to color in his horns too. I decided to go with some bright, fun colors for this card. <laughs> Peggy Rain, what is that? California is probably the only place that's worse off than Texas. I know you guys haven't. Oh, look, all of you. You know, I saw a drought map the other day for the United States and a lot of us are in a drought. A lot of us. So I know we all could use some rain. So I decided to do bright colors. This says, is it, is it Christmas Yeti? But I didn't want to, I'm not ready to do red and green. So I wanted to do something bright and fun. So I've got polished pink and this is Tahitian Tide. And the other one is Orchid Oasis. Okay. All right. Now we're going to bring this over. And we're gonna cut these guys out with our new dies. We're also gonna cut out the scarf. All right, we've got a little textured scarf here. And we've got our Yeti. Fires in Easter Oregon. You know, that's one thing we don't get here is, well, I, I don't wanna even say it out loud. We don't have fires like you guys have fires. I'll say that. Um, you know, like California, whatever. Um, and I've always wondered why, because it gets really dry. We did have, well, I say that, we, we did have a fire out by the lake this last year, but we don't have them yearly like you guys do. That is terrifying. And I know when I was flying, oh, did I just mess that up? No, I think it's okay. When I was flying back from Las Vegas in June, there was that big fire in New Mexico and I could see it from the airplane and it was really sad. I did cut that out poorly. It slipped. Should I redo it? I think I'm gonna redo it because it's so easy to redo. Let's just redo it real quick. Boop. And then boop. Fires are no joke. And um, cal those California fires, and I, I know just all west, western United States, those fires are so awful. All right, let's try this again. Do I need to use my washi, not my washi tape, my um, post-it tape? I don't think so. Let's see if I can just, there we go. Okay, now there's only one present die. So we're gonna have to run it through twice. I know, Mom, I can't believe I said that out loud. So I changed it and I said, we don't have fires like those fires. 
Oops, I almost slipped it again because then I remembered we did have that big fire out by the lake in like May. Scary. All right, there we go. My neighbor is outside weed eating his yard, like with a weed eater. He's not mowing. He's just going across it with a weed eater. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. All right, now we're going to do this embossing. And I have to tell you guys, I'm not, I don't use embossing folders all that much. But this embossing folder, I am in love with. Whimsical Woodland. I had to label it because I could not remember the name. Whimsical Woodland. It is so cute. We're going to use it on this card and the next card. And you guys know that this line right here is to line up your paper so that when you put it through, it's straight. You guys know that? All right, so to use this folder, base plate, and then number four, that's all you need. All right, there we go. Now, I like to use the debossed side, which means it's the back side. The emboss, embossed side pops up, the debossed side pops down. So I kind of like to keep it flat on the front. Can you guys hear that now? It's, um, now he's got a, a blower. <laughs> he's blowing all his clippings out into the street. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna put that on a polished pink card base. And then I have cut three pieces that are the same, uh, an inch and a half by, you know what, I wanna measure that, make sure, because I put that on the PDF last night without measuring it. Just wanna make sure that's right. Yeah, one and a half. I've gotten so good now that I can pretty much look at a paper and tell you what the measurements are, but sometimes I make mistakes. So this is polished pink designer series paper from the, let's see if I can say this right, 2021 to 2023 in color paper pack. This is Tahitian Tide from the 2022 to 2024 in color DSP pack. <laughs> and this lovely piece is um, Orchid Oasis Glimmer Paper from the 2022 to 2024 in color Glimmer pack. I think I said it all right. You probably are like, huh, what? Just look at the supply list. That's all you have to look at. And they're all three by one and a half, okay? Uh-oh, now I'm hearing sirens. That's not good. You know, I really shouldn't have spoken that, that, that out loud, should I? I'm sorry, I'm missing all the, the, the information, Lisa, about your daughter. I hope she's doing okay. I saw all your information um, that you put on Facebook about that. Daniel says, I have preferred using the deboss side as well lately on that one. Is it? I don't know why that is. Danielle, I don't know. Something about it. It's so like whimsical and cute, but I like having the flat side up. Okay, so we've got the polished pink scarf. So let's put that on him. Um, by the way, I first tried to use Tahitian Tide to color his face so that it would match the paper. And it did not look good at all. So that's why I used Pool Party. It was just kind of too much. Now he's gonna be holding two presents, one there and one here. And this set, you guys, in my mind, I thought is a Christmas set, but it has a birthday sentiment. So, you know, you could change this to birthday. It has holiday hugs and it has winter wishes. So, you know, it can be a variety of things. And then, of course, you can always bring in, you know, other other uh, sentiments from other stamp sets. And you can use that Yeti pun. Is it your birthday Yeti? You know, like you could change it. You can like mix it up. You can mask off your stamps and piece the words together and make really cute sentiments. I like doing that. All right, white stitched banner. Gonna go right there. And last but not least, you know, we're known for our color coordination. Stampin' Up! is. So, hey, Nathan. So, I am gonna grab some of these. And I think that these may actually be Starry Sky because I don't have any Orchid Oasis left, but 
these colors are so close, you guys, that I screwed up in Color Club. <laughs> Don't ask about the debacle. My lovely, lovely in color customers have been so gracious and patient with me. The colors are so close. Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis, they are buddy colors. They go very well together. But when you're not paying attention and you're working fast, you can switch them accidentally. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, you guys, there it is. Let me look outside. Is it dark? It's still really dark. There it is. So that's an easy swap card. It didn't take me too long, right? When you make a swap card, you have to make a bunch of the same card, basically. And you want to, you know, pick something that's not going to take you a thousand years, which I have done in the past and then regretted it. So I try to keep it simple. This is an easily reproduced card. Okay, so let's move those and let's go on to the next one. So then I was like, well, you know what? I finished those swap cards. How about we make another set of swap cards? Which, funny enough, mom's <laughs> mom, map shows big rain coming. Oh my gosh, you guys, if the electricity goes out, then I'll just come back with part two when it comes back on, okay? So just be prepared. If it goes out, I don't know. I think I think I'll lose, you guys. Um so funny enough, like I said, you usually don't have time to make swap cards. This time I had enough to make two, and I had made too many. I came back with like 12 of these left. So, but they're birthday cards. You know, you can use birthday cards anytime. We're using the Celebrate Everything designer series paper, which is the paper you can get for free when you spend over $150. It's one of those stamp and reward things that you can choose. Um, this time, we're going to stamp. Notice he's kind of um, a different color. Let's see, where's that other card? See how he's not like white? That's because I have stamped him on snowy white velvet sheets. I had no idea they were going to be on sale this week. I just got lucky. Um, and it's like flocked paper. And so when you stamp your Yeti on that, you have a fuzzy Yeti. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's fun, you know. Okay, hold please, I have to find my, where did I put my soft suede ink pad? I just used it over here, here it is. Okay, sorry, I pulled it off to use it and then I forgot to put it back. So your Yeti can be soft and fuzzy on your velvet paper, but I have to warn you about this. Um, the, paper, the ink doesn't dry right away. Um, it doesn't look like it's wet, but when you run it through the cut and emboss machine, and I'll show you, it um, transfers the ink onto the plate. So I found out the hard way by running through the second set of Fuzzy Yetis, and the ink was on the plate and it transferred, and so it was like ink where it shouldn't be. So learn from my mistake. If you do this, just know you're going to have to clean your plate when you're done. And I mean, clean your plate, like wipe it. That's all you have to do is wipe it off. All right, so we're gonna stamp three snowflakes in polished pink. I stamped the little banner in Poppy Parade. Here's my other Poppy Parade marker. I was looking for that earlier. And then I'm gonna color it in with polished pink. Again, bright, fun colors. And this time, this is a birthday card. So, Get Yeti to party. It's your birthday. All right, let's bring over that cut and emboss machine again. We are going to emboss this white piece again. We had, I know you guys are tired of hearing about rain, but sorry, <laughs> I like to talk about rain. We've had rain pop up right over us like the last three days, right mom? Yesterday, it was bright and sunny out the front of my house and I could hear it, I heard it thunder and I got a lightning alert on my phone. And I went to the back and there was a, just like a bloop, just popped up right there, basically over our backyard. And then it moved the other direction and we got no rain from it. That was not very nice. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, we laugh and say, you know, I come from a long line of weather nerds. We like weather in my family. All right, we're going to cut him out. And then um, he reminds me of that monster from the movie in the 80s when the kids go to the secret monster world. Nathan, you're not old enough to know movies from the 80s, are you? 
you're way younger than me. I don't know what you're talking about. And end up at the other side of the USA at the end. Oh, yes. Harry and the Hendersons. Is that what you're talking about? Mom, do you remember seeing that at the movie theater? Um, I remember that movie vividly. Um, when that, he's a Sasquatch, right? Or a Bigfoot. And he comes over the front of the, the car. And I about fell out of my seat. I remember that vividly. That's a cute movie. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that movie. Harry and the Hendersons. I think that's what you're talking about, right, Nathan? You must have seen it on VHS in the 90s because there's no way you could have seen it back then. <laughs> Why did, who says that? Who said we're weather nerds? Um, you guys, are y'all weather nerds? Y'all, you know, I always feel stupid talking about the weather, but I just, I'm a little bit obsessed. I'm a little bit obsessed. In my next life, I'm going to be a weather, weather woman. All right. Now, we've got one more of these to cut out. Hold, please. Let me just do it real fast. Oh, goodness. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, oh, I didn't show you. See? It transferred the ink. So hold on, let me just grab my, I keep some um, spray in here and a towel and we'll just, I don't know if it's on, yep, it's on that side. A little boop and we'll just clean it off. Okay, so don't forget to do that. Otherwise it'll transfer onto your paper, which is so strange because if, I mean, it when I touch it, I guess it is still a little bit wet. And you would think, cause that's kind of like, um, like a, almost like a fabric paper, it would dry, but it does, it does not. I mean, eventually it will, but right off the bat, it does not. Okay, now let's put this all together. First, I'm gonna take my, let's give him this time just some pink horns. I'm not gonna color his face on here but we are gonna give him some pink horns. Um, I'm using a Poppy Parade card base, okay? And then we've got our embossed piece. Again, I'm gonna use the debossed side. I don't know why, you could use the embossed side too if you want. And then I've got a piece of um, the DSP. And I want to make sure that I have the right measurements of this too. I was just going off the top of my head. Three and three fourths by three. What did I put on the PDF? Um, I put three and seven eighths by four, which is, I guess, a tiny bit bigger. It would work, but three and three fourths. It probably needs to be three and three fourths and then a little bit bigger here, probably three and a half. I'll change it. If you use the bigger piece, it's still gonna work. All right, so you're gonna do this diagonally. And because this is a geometric piece, both pieces will work, okay? Sometimes when you, you know, if it was like pumpkins or something and you flip it, the pumpkins would be upside down. But because this is geometric, you can use both. All right, so bring this over. Put this down in the corner. I love this paper. If you are putting in several orders, hold them and put them all in at one time so that you can hit the $150 mark and get this paper as one of your free choices. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Let me show you. I always try to point this out every now and then because sometimes people don't know. Um, you know, if you were to host a workshop and you were the host and everybody puts in orders, you earn rewards for that. Those are called stamp and rewards. Um, but you also earn those stamp and rewards when your, your own personal order is over $150. So if you look at the back of the catalogs, this is the holiday catalog, page 86. It tells you if your order is over 150, you're gonna earn 10%, so you'd earn $15. At 300, you earn 12% and so on. So you can pick anything you want with those stamp and rewards, but there are these two exclusive things that you can only get with stamp and rewards. And that paper right there is one of them. And it's $18, I believe. So if you 
put in a $150 order and you earn $15 in Stampin' Rewards, you can still get that and they'll just tack on the three extra dollars to your total. Um, so get your friends, put your orders together, hold your orders. You know, if you put in several orders, hold them so you can get up to 100, get over 150 to get that paper for free. It is really, really good paper. All right, now here, this one, I want you to see yesterday when I was making the YouTube recording, this piece right here is the original one I used. But then when I flipped it over, I thought, well, the stripes will be really cute too. However, because there's so much here, you can't really see the stripes. So I think the polka dots are probably better. Okay. Trim and trim and trim. Mom, what's happening on the radar? I, I'm not hearing any thunder. It's gonna be, once again, just a tease. It's gonna go over somebody else. All right, put that there. So we've got Poppy Parade, polished pink, basic white. We're gonna take our cute little Yeti and dimensionals. Dimensionals right there. And we're gonna put him here. Now this cute little banner that we stamped, he's gonna be holding that. I saw another card online where they had him holding the banner and I thought, that's so cute. I wouldn't have thought to do that with the banner. But I mean, maybe it was designed for that, but I would have thought, you know, like putting it up here. But having him hold it is so cute. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Poppy Parade. Yeti, get Yeti to party. It's your birthday. All right. Oh, I'm getting to the end of my dimensional sheet again. I go through them so fast. All right, and then we're gonna put this right here like that. That's a stitched rectangle from the stitched rectangle dies. And then we'll use many dimensionals on these guys right here. So last week, the um, weekly specials had craft paper. And this week, there's the, the um, it's not called flocked. It's called snowy white velvet sheets. Uh, two specialty papers that I love. And if you had caught it the day between the two weeks, you could have gotten them both at the same time because they had them on the website like that. I don't know why. I did see somebody say that's because, and I don't know if this is true, so don't quote me, that that happened because when they posted it over in the South Pacific, when it was the day after, you know, over there, it's the next day, that it posted here as well. Who knows? I don't know if that's true, but there you go. A cute birthday card. Now, if it's too much pink and red for you, which, I mean, come on. It's not too much, but if it is, <laughs> if you're gonna give this to a boy, maybe, like a little boy or a teenage boy, change it to blues. There are blues in that paper that would be just as cute. Okay, so there we go. Let's move to our very last one. And I'm so excited about this one. Oh, I needed a drink. Gosh, it looks like nighttime outside, but yet the guy's still mowing his yard. Weird. Okay. Um, yeah, Nathan, you're gonna need to buy it just because of Harry and the Hendersons. Every time you guys look at it, you're gonna think of Harry and the Hendersons now. And if you haven't seen Harry and the Hendersons, find it, it's probably on YouTube. Okay, this next project is a nugget holder. I cannot claim this as my own invention. I wrote her name down, Tracy Thompson. I saw she posted it over in our demo Facebook page and I was like, oh my God, what are those bags? I have to make that. Um, so these bags, you guys, they hold Hershey Nuggets. Here are the purple Hershey Nuggets and look, I only have four left. Why do you think that is? Somebody's eating my nuggets. It's me, I'm eating them. <laughs> so I only have four left, but the purple is so perfect for our Orchid Oasis. Um, 
in their truffles, but I'm glad that they're gonna be gone now. So I have this other package too, that are, there's a lot left in here, um, toffee almonds. So we're gonna have to, oh, we're gonna have to use two that are not the right color. I don't like it. Maybe I should do all gold, let's see. I don't like it. You know what, we'll put the gold ones at the top. You won't be able to see them. These nuggets are from my grocery store, so I did not link these, but the bag, you're asking, what are the bags? They are pretzel bags. You know those long pretzels that you dip? You can dip in the, like the candy coating and put all the sprinkles on? That's what these are for. So if you go to Amazon, there's a link on my blog um, directly to this pack. There's 300 of them in here. Um, and it was like, I don't know, like $7, $6, something like that. Um, so you'll find that under the project today, the link. So that's what they are. And they fit the nuggets perfectly. I was like, oh my gosh, the, where have the pretzel bags been? I didn't know we had those. Okay, let's, let's make the holder first, okay? We're gonna use this die right here. This is the Celebration Tags set. And this is like a pocket. You know, it would fold in half um, to make a little pocket tag, but we are just going to use the top part of it. I'm gonna put my paper, this is Orchid Oasis two by eight and a half, and I'm gonna put it in like that. Center it, and then, where's my other plate? Right here. Then, you're just gonna put this on here like this, just halfway and just, boop, that's it. Just the top part. Okay, you can run all the way through because I, I threaded it through like that, but it will leave a bump there. So uh, it won't cut it, but it will leave a bump. But I mean, just go, you know, boop in like that and then it's done. Okay, so there's the holder part. Now the nuggets are wrapped in Orchid Oasis designer series paper from the, the, um, 2022 to 2024 in color DSP pack. And we've got, I'm trying to decide which, which, which patterns I want to use. I'm making this way too complicated. Okay. There. Okay. So one by three. Okay. They're one by three. You can get a whole lot of them out of one package of DSP or one page even. Now this bag, so watch what I'm gonna do. I just put adhesive on it and I'm just gonna wrap it around. This is like oldest time, this little nugget thing. we have been doing nuggets like this for a million years. Um, this bag will hold, I think probably up to eight nuggets, or you can just put four in there or three and then, you know, like cut off the top of the bag. Because I know candy's expensive and you know, inflation and all that, whatever. So it's adjustable okay this purple color though these truffle nuggets are so cute if you do any kind of craft sales or anything these i think these would be great for a craft sale or party favor most of us don't do craft sales but most of us have a reason to take like a party favor um sandy i don't know if sandy's on here she sends things to her grandkids class all the time this would be a great, you know, inexpensive, and it looks so professional because it's in that packaging. And you could mix up the colors too. You don't have to stick with Island. I, I did it, Orchid Oasis. I knew I was gonna do it. I kept calling it yesterday, Island Oasis. The color is not Island, it is Orchid. Orchid Oasis, right? No, yes. <gasps> is it raining? It's finally raining, yay! All right, so now this first one, you gotta kind of wiggle in there, and then after that, they all just go in. Okay. Oh, where's the gold? Yeah, we want the gold at the top. Oh, don't you love the sound of rain after a long, hot, dry summer? I wish it would go park itself over the lake. All right, now, push them down, and then it has this little seal right here. like that and you just close it and there you have it 
Now I'm going to attach it. I guess the neighbor had to stop mowing his lawn with a weed eater. I'm going to put this right on here just with some stamp and seal. Okay. Okay. Now let's do our stamping. We're going to need to um, clean this dude. Where is my chamois? I hope you guys all had a nice Labor Day. I'm trying to think of, it was only four days four days back and I can't remember what we did. I don't think we did anything, which is nice too. I, I seriously can't remember what we did on Monday. All right, Memento Black. Mom, is it raining at your house? Denise, is it raining at your house? It's raining here. Now we're gonna do two, two of each of these mountains. Too big, too small. We have dies to cut those mountains out. These mountains also, I wanna show you, are really easy to um, stamp together. And I did it on a background on a card I'm gonna show you, but then I completely covered them up and you can't see them. So when you stamp these on like your background, you just can line them up like that. Look, how cute, right? And, you know, we can just make like a little mountain scene. And because they're clear, the clear mount, then they just all, you can line them up perfectly. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> how fun is that? Now the dies cut out the mountains. Um, also, there is a die. Ooh, it's really coming down, you guys. Hopefully we don't lose. It's pouring at your house, Denise. Good. Hopefully we don't lose internet. Um, this little die and this little die right here, you can cut these out, like maybe from that snowy velvet paper and put it on top of there. We're gonna do something different. Um, but if you're gonna make a lot of these, you probably are gonna wanna simplify it a little bit from what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the snowfall accent puff paint have you guys used that yet i'm gonna show you how fun it is all right so we're gonna color two mountains in orchid oasis and by the way each of these videos are on youtube with just an individual recording if you want to come back and watch something they're also a little bit better um because i can zoom in you can see things a little bit better on those, especially for coloring and stuff. Um, they should be up. They're linked under each photo today as well. Boy, I made a ton of videos this week. I did those videos. I did videos for some team stuff. I did videos for Club Create. It's been a quiet week now that the kids are back in school. Hallelujah. One of them texted me today. I'll let you guess which one. She's had like a little bit of a you know, stuffy nose. Her throat hurt yesterday. I made her take a COVID test, she was fine. She got up this morning. She said, oh, I feel, I feel better. Yesterday when I had come home from picking up the other sister, she was out playing football. I'll probably tell you who it is. So she was fine. This morning she said she's fine. Well, then she texted me a little while ago. I don't feel fine. Or, or what did she say? I, I don't feel better. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and like, you know, are you wanting me to come pick you up? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying like, you know, like what? And she says, I'm nauseous and I'm congested. Okay, well, those two things don't really go together. So pick one, <laughs> which is it? And uh, then she said, well, I don't want you to come get me because we have pictures today, but what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, well, child, when you have a cold, you just live with it. <sighs> you know, can you guess third child? Third child. Um, candy corn out of those. Oh, you're right. Who said that? I missed that. Whoever said candy corn. I missed it. Nathan, of course, it's Nathan. Nathan is our, is our Halloween guru. He is all good Halloween. You need a Halloween idea as you go to Nathan. All right, we're gonna cut all these out. If you guys have multiple children of your own, 
birth order, we talk a lot about birth order, firstborn, secondborn, different personalities, or if you are one of multiple person, multiple personalities, that's not what I meant. If you're one of multiple siblings, there's a guy on Instagram, his name is TJ Theron, I think, and he does those funny, like, funny videos of how kids, you know, like, okay, here's how your firstborn would react, here's how your secondborn would react, here's how your thirdborn would react to this, and they're, you know, of course, hilarious, and the thirdborn, the third child in the family is always like, mom's gonna do it for me or you know mom's gonna make it for me mom's gonna take it because you know they're the baby and we laugh because that's exactly how our third one is her sisters say she gets away with murder she gets whatever she wants and my mom calls her the squeaky wheel or radar because she she knows how to get what she wants okay that just that mountain just fell down into the crevices of my cut and emboss machine are we gonna be able to find it you guys need to find him. He's hilarious. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Farmer's Market Friday, Debbie. Oh, I bet the weather is beautiful there. It's probably a little bit like crisp and fall-like. Is it there yet in Michigan? Oh, I'm jealous. Okay, now we're going to use this Snowfall Puff Paint Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. It's like $4. I, we've had this before in years past, and it's back. And I'm using a really old, um, really old heat tool. Don't even ask. My other one's doing something weird. And this one will burn your fingerprints off your hand. So it will help. It will make this go a little bit fa faster. Um, you want to shake this stuff up, okay? And it comes out very liquidy. It's not even like, um, you know, like Elmer's glue. It's thinner than that. All right, and you're just gonna, you don't really even need to squeeze it. You just kind of tap, tap, tap. Okay, and I've got my reverse tweezers here from my embossing kit. And then you're gonna hit it with a heat tool. It's very liquidy, so you don't want to blow it around with your heat tool, but you wanna leave it on there and it kind of starts to solidify a little bit, kind of like gel, and then it's gonna turn into like a, like a science experiment. Can you guys see, am I close enough? It turns into like these puffy crystals, but do you guys see I held it too, too long? It will discolor your paper, it will burn your paper and discolor your ink. So there's like this weird fine line between, I'm leaving it on, between too much and not enough. So experiment with it, whoops. Experiment with it before you put it on your project to figure out how much you need. And it will scorch your paper. The Stampin' Up! heat tool is not as hot as this one. It's much safer than this one. This one you could seriously like start a campfire with it. Um, and it takes just a little bit longer. But it also isn't going to scorch your paper like this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, pouring down rain. So can you guys see that? Is it focusing? It's really fun. All right, I'm gonna do these other two real fast. I should have done them ahead of time, but I didn't. I'm, I'm good on time this week. Not running over. Oh, it's 2.59. It's all right, we're almost done. <laughs> Shannon. She's saying her fourth baby. I can I cannot even imagine how the fourth baby is. You know, when that third baby comes along, you're just like, whatever you want to be quiet, you know, to make you stop crying, just, okay, I'm tired. And that's how they get the way they are because they know that we're tired. And they're like, oh, I have this lady's number. If I whine and I beg and I plead, she's just too tired to fight me on it. That's Addie's MO for sure. Okay, last one. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna sh short circuit the house with this dangerous heat tool. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Can you guys see how fun that is? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, but I have to open my blinds so I can see this rain. It's intense. Yes. Wow. Oh, I just want to sit and listen to it. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so now we've got this. All we're going to do is we're going to 
glue these on. And if you're gonna mass produce these, you know, like if you're gonna make a ton of them, you might wanna do the, the snow different because it does take a while, although it's really fun and it's really cute. You decide, but you can just leave it white. You don't have to do anything to it. Um, you can use that other, well, that's weird. You can use that, um, that little die and cut out, you know, the fuzzy velvet sheets if you want. I saw a really cute card the other day, again, on our demo planning place, Facebook, oops, Facebook group. She used this snowfall puff paint for the beer foam on the beer glasses um, stamp. It was adorable, and I would not have thought of that. So it goes beyond just snow. All right, we're gonna, I'm using dimensionals because they are really good adhesive, and on something like this, they work really well. All right, last but not least, well, no, second to last, because we have to do the bow too. We have, I've cut out a stitched heart. This is, again, from the Celebration Tags dies. And what ink am I using for this? I am using polished pink. Does anybody see the polished pink ink? It's over here. Hi, Pepper. What are you doing? She's just staring at me. They don't like the rain. All right, and this little oval is from the, what's it called? Did I put that on the supply list? It's the, the pocket card dies. Let's see, did I put it on here? I kind of think I didn't. I did not. It's the pocket card dies in the annual catalog. That's what that little oval is from. All right, so we're gonna give him, he's gonna hold the heart like that. And then we're gonna take the oval and put that right there like that. Now we're gonna take, we've got this fun, um, oh, what's it called? Iridescent trim. Just cut a little, it's like a soft pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner without the wire. And we're gonna fold that through like that. And we're gonna take our Orchid Oasis ribbon. Let's hold this down with our block. Boop. And tie a bow. Now these nuggets are in this package, so I cannot eat them. I need to, I need to package up all of them because they are good. They are so good. So, so good. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Fun, right? 300 of those pretzel bags. I think it's like $7. Click the link on my blog. It'll take you to Amazon. There you go. How cute are those? Great party favors. Really good party favors. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. And the colors are fun too. Thanks. Um, 11 kids, Lisa. Oh my gosh. I bet like the second half are like wild. They could just do whatever they want. They're probably raising themselves. <laughs> 11 kids. I can't even imagine. Okay, you guys, I have one bonus project for you that I'll post on Monday. Um, this is, there's a die in here that we didn't use and it's this one right here. It's like a window. And so I used the brick embossing brick and mortar boss embossing folder to make kind of like an igloo and then I cut this I ran it through and cut it like this and then I slid it up like that and ran it through again so that it elongated the window long enough for his body okay so that's how we did that and then I just colored him little presents just cute now in the back I did those mountains like I showed you and embossed them in white and then I completely covered it and you can't see it so oh well Okay, that's it, you guys. If you want these three projects as a free kit, free make and take kit, make sure your order is in by Monday, excuse me, at midnight. Um, I, will check, I will check Tuesday morning, write everybody's name down, cut kits for everybody on Tuesday morning, and ship them out on Wednesday. Um, use that host code unless your order is over $150. And stop by pinkbuckaroo.com, get your free PDF, and that's it. TGIF, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next week with 
Christmas projects, like actual Christmas cards. I don't know. I'm just not ready for Christmas, but those dies are only available in September. So I have to show them to you because we'll want them and then they'll be gone. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye.